Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Hmm, you two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit spicy. Romantic, quite. Got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Estes. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. Even a horse drops if you ride it with a concert. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I have a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. Ahem. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to... Uh, Partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to, uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa, who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasesta what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. 
Except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? I'm afraid we have to await the morn. Proper light, see? It's very important. In the meantime, be my guest at my fire, sir. In fact, I'd be delighted to hear some tales of Witcher life. Well, the wide and wild world beckons. The light now is perfect. Not even a draft horse will tap without some carrot to move. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it, not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper for you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Map says there's something panthers around here. Hunting. Stay close. Hunting. Keep your eyes peeled something like a bear. One request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed if at all possible. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Look, a cub. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Really? You free it. A superb image. So call witches heartless. This will put the light to that. Oh my! I, I failed to warn you. Apologies. The Parastisimac has an added lantern. You must look away or it'll blind you. Parastisomax upset the animals. Better get out of here. Cannot the vibe, Porching. I'm content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I double in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Shh. Hear him. It's those... Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them.
Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. Excellent day for capturing moments. Thank you. Truly magnificent. Move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. spot. That was... tense. 
Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads? There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. No need to thank me. Glad they have more contracts like this. Counts a wonder, ain't he? It's a sad injustice, the misfortune that's touched the family. Misfortune? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I've one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See ya. Uh, if only my purse weren't empty. Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bobo. Fine. Monsieur de Bobo. The emphasis falls on the last syllable. Bobo? Mm hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, Monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil, then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. 
Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. The guard brings peace to our domains. Float its writ and rot in chains. All right, let's look around. Rats. Not known to kidnap farmhands. Shut the dishes. any minute. No kick you more duck this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Water coursing. Underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores. It is big. Very big. Don't burn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property. Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug him, a large creature. Also killed a few Kikimors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimor eggs. Yes, of course, good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. Jean-Luc went to reconnoiter, and never returned. Where did you last see Jean-Luc, madame? Exactly. In... in the fields, uh, north of here, by the wood. New seedlings there? I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? 
tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hmm. Then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Red's really stale. Been here a while. Blanket was laid out here. Footprints. Two sets. Tracks split. Woman turned back here. Man kept going. Trail ends here. Looks like she went back to the manor. Man's footprints lead here. Large, deep tracks. of carapace, horned gray shell. Felled trees, as if something rolled over them. So is Shalemar. Only they dig tunnels and move like that. Trail leads to that cave. Straight, dull, perfect for digging. Mm. Whoa, Shalemar's close. Shalemar's lair, gotta be. Drags its victims here. Pretty fresh some of them. Gonna have to brew some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim and some of the mushrooms that grow here. Fresh corpse. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs, cracked skull. Shalemar did this. No two ways about it. Spill it within the lair, somewhere near an air current, so the scent spreads throughout the cave. Highly decayed, partly eaten. Been lying here a while. Ugh, that stench.
be here any minute. Monsieur de Bobo, can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Sh Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Hmm, kinda like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. <laughs> uh huh? Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. As for Jean-Luc, afraid he's dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. I shall soon find another to take his place. Right. After all, he is just a peasant. Not a monsieur de blah blue blah. So long. Help! Help us! 
Someone, please, help! What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here. Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fented them off! Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job! Not a brigand. I'm a witcher. And your brother sent me to help you. No, 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 no! I refuse to believe they had a sudden change of heart! They tried to kill me, then sent help? I sense the stench of treachery a mile off! Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business, literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. What about the missing part? Find it? No. I know only that it's in this cave, likely at the bottom of a pool. I feel awkward to ask, but as I am wounded, would you be kind and retrieve it? Fine. I can do that. But you must know, I... I cannot pay you well. Figured as much. Start producing cognac, I'll come by for a discount. That, I promise you. Wait here. hot. Get burned if I don't watch it. Could use some protection. Maybe Quen will work. Not much, I know, but I promise you good prices. The best once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers. They've rounded up some thugs. They mean to attack me. We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence that they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you may only hope. Kill them, elsewise they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? <sighs> Don't have 
have much of a choice. Thanks. A thousand thanks. I shall wait here. Ah, Witcher! What are you doing? Teaching you some decency. This good man! Hold it! They got what they deserved. Maybe they did mean well. I, for one, do not believe it. They were overcome with greed, ready to do anything to wrest the last part of the still from me. Besides, you did not kill them. They will come too, soon. Having learnt a valuable lesson, I trust. So what now? Uh, I fear I don't know. I can't possibly hope to rebuild my father's still. I suppose I must hang a shingle in the market, sell wine. Or perhaps I should move on, leave Toussaint. Alas, I know not and will have to see. Whatever the case, I shall not forget your help with my brothers. Time we went our separate ways. Good luck, whatever you decide to do. I thank you, Witcher. Fare thee well. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. No, I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh, Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting, just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, 
the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Nice meeting you. So long now. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Any time. Then draw your blade. Proven worthy of wielding the blade, beyond all doubt. Behold. Your Arendite. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you received the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Just wonderful. You, Jacob? Heal, Mohot. Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Luis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you... you could lift the curse. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt. But right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. <laughs> Swear I hear sobs and rustling leaves. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. 
blood. Seek from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Link's Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. or trophies. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? If an I. The Witch of Link's Crag would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. Refuse to help me, and I'll make you regret it. And force you to. Do you know what really makes my blood boil? Bluster, threats, especially beneath my own roof. Wouldn't need to use either if you'd cooperate. How would I do that, given you will soon be dead? Akandal!
You have bested me. Tradition ordains I must grant you three wishes, it seems. You know exactly why I'm here. Very well. I will help you. Albeit I pity the lass not at all. I shall do what I can to break the curse that imprisons her soul in the tree. Why should I trust you? A word once given, I always keep. Now be gone. Leave me be. I can tend to the rest alone. Remember the deal we made. I have given you my word. I will keep it. But you. Damn it, where the hell's Jacob? Wouldn't abandon the tree of his own free will. Need to find him. Fresh blood and clear, deep prints. Looks like Jacob fled, chased by his dog. Morholt, where's your map? Damn it. Freed the ghost from the tree, as promised. Failed to add the specter'd be insane, full of pain and rage. Possessed the first living creature it ran into. The dog. Dog then killed Jacob. Farewell, chivalrous woodsman. Sorry it ended this way. Life's rarely like a fairy tale. Still, folk have gotta have faith. Believe in something. <laughs>